Um, this is not the evening that we had planned initially uh, because um, I had all of our judges lined up all the way right through into the almost the very end of the year. So I'm sitting nicely at the Gary's Grill finishing up my lunch at about four o'clock, which was late. But anyway, the phone rings. Our judge calls and is deathly ill and can't make it. So I have to say of all the uh, years that I've been doing this, it's the first time I had one of those emergencies. So you know a friend is a good friend if they're willing to step in at the last minute and uh, do this. So our judge for this evening is Steve Bruza, and he's a friend of the club and he's been here, Steve, at least two, three, four times for sure. And um, I want to wanted to introduce Steve, but he said he'll talk instead, so I don't have to make anything up about him. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, Jackie. Spelling of his last name. B R U Z A. Okay, I was not even close. Yeah, I know. Right. That happens. <laughs> okay. It's been. Good evening. Good evening. It's fun to be here, actually. Oh. You have to step behind the camera. You have to step behind the camera. That's the camera. I was confused. Oh, okay. I was in front of it. There it is. Hi. <laughs> I, think, I think it's got me now. Um, yeah, I was actually here last spring, early spring, and I think it was glass, as I recall. It was glass. And that was fun. And uh, I guess I did an okay job because you sent me... You actually wanted me to come back again this year, just that I'm back sooner than I would have, was planning, so that's okay. Um, tell you a little bit about myself, because I know there are some new folks who may not know about my background. Uh, for, uh, geez, I've been a photographer for almost ever. I was a photo editor for my college paper years ago, back in the film days. Spent a lot of time in the darkroom. So that's where I cut my uh, uh, you know, teeth on those things um, with, with film. And it was a lot of fun to do, to do quick stuff. And of course, like a lot of people, I got involved in work and other life came along and put the cameras down. And then digital came along. And I figured out, okay, let's buy a digital camera and figure out how to use this thing. And like a lot of people, maybe here tonight, say, well, how do you learn to use a digital camera? What should you do with it? And I started looking camera clubs. And I found a couple. Um, Baltimore Camera Club, I think, was my first. And then I looked, I think I may have come here like once or twice early on. Then I went down to Bowie Crofton. For some reason, I clicked with them and uh, did that for about uh, 10, 15 years now and won all their awards. Uh, I guess I'm now considered a master photographer. I got all the gold stars and all that kind of stuff. So that's been fun. And now uh, I enjoy uh, participating in the... Uh, Charm City Photo Club, which is a meetup group. And we have photo walks and Zoom meetings uh, every month. So if you're interested in doing other things, uh, check, that, check us out on Meetup, Charm City Photo Club. And with, uh, without uh, talking more about myself or about what I'm doing, unless there are any questions, I'm gonna be looking at some beautiful images, I'm sure. I'm gonna be looking, because it's this open competition, uh, it's gonna be tough. Uh, I'm gonna be looking for what's unique and has impact. Um, probably not a lot of, we won't have winners if they're just you know, sunsets and sunrises and those types of things, or birds, uh, unless they're phenomenal birds. So we'll look, we'll look for unique stuff and have a lot of fun. Okay, I'm ready. Can I step out and head, can I get on the other side of the camera now? You can, be careful of that cord. Okay. Got it. Okay, uh, just a, and how we're gonna do this tonight for the folks who haven't been here for the prints, uh, we're gonna first of all try to do the um, monos, uh, the mono prints first, and then we'll do the color prints. And that will help uh, our judges kind of calibrate their brains to be in the, uh, in the black and white workspace as they look at uh, two sets of uh, images, then we'll move to color in a second. Um, I think that uh, Bob has everything pretty well organized, and uh, and Steve, the light in the light box is light balanced. So um, um, Bob worked on trying to make sure that that's in good shape. And 
Bob, what, what is uh, on our menu here next? Uh, the menu has Novice Monarch, and we have seven prints, and then Novice Unlimited Mono 30, then Novice Color 10, and Unlimited Color 31. Okay, can you tell us, uh, and we'll do Mono Novice first, right? Right. Okay, so what kind of contest is this? We have a smaller number of entries. So this is um, what we call a mini contest, um, which happens when we don't have enough prints. And in a mini contest, there's no first place, there's a second and a third, and no honorable mentions. Um, okay. But there'll be feedback for all of the images. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, the other requirement for a mini contest, there need to be at least three participants, and we do have that. Okay, and uh, the other note is uh, pay close attention to uh, how you fare out. If you have a first, second, third, or fourth place image, take it home and find a safe place and put them all of the first, place, first second, third, fourth uh, together in one place because they will be coming back in the end of the year images. And uh, if you have honorable mentions, uh, you can bring them back. Um, after Steve will give you some feedback, you can bring it back at another time if you want to reconceive the, uh, the image and so on. So that's pretty much the way it would go. Honorable mentions can be changed out for future uh, contests. And if you just want to bring it back in and put a new label on, that would be okay too. So enough uh, rattling on, I guess. Steve, I'll hand that to you. We're going to do the first pass through. Uh, mm -hmm. Bob will give her, uh, everybody uh, the title and a chance to look at it for a few seconds and the judge a chance to look at it for a few seconds. Then we'll go back and do another run through with commentary on each of the um, images. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mono, Novice, first entry, The Rancher. Ocean's Zest. <coughs> Somewhere in Virginia. Dreaming. Quartet. The Hill. Chapel Window. Okay, and that's the first run. Yeah, this is a strong image in my, from my perspective. I like the uh, idea of a character uh, portrayal here, kind of a portrait. A um, little interesting to look at this from the perspective of the finish. Um, I'm a little disturbed by the roughness of the print. The print seems like either it's in terms of a technical quality, it's it's kind of disturbing me because it is kind of faded or or a little rough, but then that adds character to it, makes it a little bit more interesting. Um, we'll keep it in for now. Very powerful waves. I like the way the light is catching. Of course, photography is all about working with the light, and the light catching this one wave and. Kind of a stillness is really nice. Very high shutter speed, obviously. A very close crop here. I like to see more here, maybe less on the right, more on the left. Um, again, I think the image is more here. This is kind of distracting. 
kind of disturbing a little bit. Maybe the maker wanted that, but uh, again, my eye keeps on going over to the detail here. And I think that's where the image is. Maybe a tighter crop would have helped here. So this one will be out. Love what the uh, maker did here with the, the waterfall. It's very pleasing. I like the uh, portrait orientation. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more at the top, like the, where the water's coming from. I like, like the rocks. The use of the rocks are very effective here, creating this triangle effect here, kind of a frame effect at the bottom. Um, it's a very strong image. Let's keep this in. Love this portrait. Love the catch light in the eyes. Love the use of the uh, hands, kind of the, the use of the, uh, the framing of the face. Kind of the rule of thirds are being applied real well here. This is not a centered portrait. Person is looking right into the camera, obviously aware of the photographer, but yet somewhat unaware of the photographer, which is nice. Kind of looking off into the distance. The one thing that's kind of holding this back is we've got this, this uh, whatever this is here, it's just probably part of the, the other, the leg or the hand or maybe the uh, foot. Um, that could have probably been removed or with a, maybe a tighter crop because my eye keeps on going back down here to the bottom left to find out what is that, which is distracting me. Again, I think it's kind of disturbing because it's such a beautiful portrait up here. Uh, we'll keep it in for now. This is nice. I like, the, I like the perspective to see the buses like this, the VW buses like this, the surfboards on top. Um, nice image. Love the, 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 the high contrast, uh, strong white, strong black. Really good black and white image, very well treated. Maybe we would like to have seen only three rather than four. It's kind of disturbing to see the out of balance or this kind of situation, but uh, we'll keep it in for now. This is, this is strong because it's so big. I, I like that this maker decided to print this large. It kind of stands out in, in the crowd. Um, interesting use of the toy. Uh, the eyes of, uh, I guess that's Thomas up there looking over here. It's well placed. Again, a little kind of distracting here at the bottom, but it's not too bad. Um, I think the contrast is, is a little bit weak. I would like to see a maybe a little tighter crop at the, uh, at the top, but uh, it's good. Um, I think the image uh, probably won't last as well with the others in comparison, though. We'll take it out. The image is, is good. I think that the uh, printing is okay right here at the bottom. I'm trying to read what the seal is in the, in the uh, foreground. Uh, but I'm a bit distracted by how the, uh, the stained glass or the light coming through the windows is kind of distracting me at the top. It seems somewhat out of balance. Uh, I find that I'm looking down and then going back up here to, to be distracted. The, the edges are not treated very well. It's a little bit off-centered at the top, not really in, in level. Uh, I think that's what's hurting this image. It's just not straight in, in my mind. Um, again, I'd like to see this treated a little differently, maybe with a better exposure so I can see what the detail is here, because I'm, I'm really puzzled by it. I will take this out. Okay, um, so I guess... these out. Mm -hmm. Bob, our options, uh, are there a few enough that we could lay them out on the table? I uh, think so. There should be. There was only 10. Okay. We took out the six. So I think three. Mm -hmm. There were seven. Seven? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
These are the ones they have that survived. Probably we're looking for a second and third place, and uh, that's it? Yeah, second and third. So two in and two out. <laughs> I think the two in are going to be the people. I think they're the stronger the, the, the two mm -hmm. of the four. And the print quality here is, is exceptional. I'm going to pick this over that one. Okay, results of mono, novice, open. Um, second place goes to Kenneth Temple for dreaming. Right. Ken, do you want to talk, talk about the image at all? Tell us about it. Uh, you pass him the mic. No, I, I pass on that one. It's just, it was just a um, photo session that I did with a young lady. And uh, we had a really good time, and I took a lot of photos. Okay. And this was one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. uh, third place goes to... Um, oh. Kenneth Temple again, the rancher. I was actually in church when I seen that guy walking through the halls. And he just had so much character. And I just asked him if I could take his picture. And he let me take it. And that's what I did. So it wasn't in the studio? Or... No. Uh-uh. <laughs> okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. Natural light. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay, Bob, you want to let us know what uh, what's up here with the. Next. Okay, we now have unlimited mono, and there are 30 images. So there'll be first, second, third, fourth, and three honorable mentions. You get, for every 10, you get an honorable mention. Okay. Okay. Right. Church reflection. Strolling the beach. Francis Street. Woodpecker. Ferris wheel silhouette. Special. Long live cowgirls. North Church Balcony. Pillars and arches. Menacing cat.
bomb running, bomb, no, bombing run. Help? Christina. Play ball. School teacher. Gray parrot. Rear entrance. The crowds. My car stairs. Last splash. Egret. Main Street. Above the tree line. Heathrow Terminal Five Pillars. Yosemite Valley. Who keeps clean, who keeps a clean house? Window light. The moon. Artist at work. Balloon Festival. There we are. I have to say right from the start that the the overall quality of all of these images is just exceptional. I don't think there were any obvious technical flaws in the print quality, uh, the composition, the placement, the uh, the graphic capabilities were just phenomenal. Um, so I'm sure, sure. I'm not going to say anything about the technical qualities here because they're just all exceptional. I'm going to speak more about the uh, the impact that these images are making and talk a little bit more about uh, um, subject matter, perhaps the choice, uh, what kind of story is being told, what the maker is trying to uh, uh, tell the the uh, the audience, and I'm going to have to interpret that from that perspective. So uh, I'll do the best I can. I think they're all exceptional images. Uh, this is, the, let's just say right at the beginning, this one's one, one of those. Uh, just to see something unique in a reflection, windows, uh, putting it into nice perspective, well-framed, uh, we'll keep it in. Another nice story, you know, two people taking a walk. Um, placement is nice. Very unique. Uh, I love the reflection of the water, uh, the people in the, in the uh, wet ground, in the foreground. I love the hats on the people. 
Uh, they're, they're perfectly placed. Uh, we're going to have to keep it in, too. So back to the story being told, I guess I'm, I'm very familiar with this street scene. Um, probably been there a couple dozen times and, and I know that's a great sky and great uh, street scene, but uh, it's just a little too familiar for me and I, I don't see the impact here. So we'll take this out. Yeah, exceptional bird. Just beautifully printed, well framed, a beautiful treatment of the background. That eye is in perfect focus, all the way down to the each feather I can see. We'll keep it in. I, I like the story. It's it's a very calm story. Nice silhouette, uh, nice sky. No, just not very unique. I've, I've seen this probably before, taken before by other people. Um, just not strong enough, so we'll take it out. I love the way this is printed. I love the S-curve in it. Love how the S-curve continues in the S and the special. Um, well framed, nice crop, beautifully printed. Um, just, just, I love the weight of the special at the bottom, the light at the top, well treatment, a nice treatment here. It may not be as strong as some of the others, but we'll, we'll keep it in because the quality is so strong. And I love this uh, horse person here. The horse is exceptionally as well, just beautifully uh, treated. I uh, love the, f the remarks, uh, the, the, the way the face uh, of the lady uh, kind of actually mimics the horse a little bit, kind of gasping for breath here. Uh, we'll keep it in. It's a very calm uh, image, maybe too calm. I like the light. It's making the, uh, the, uh, the, the benches look nice, but there's a lot of empty space at the top. It's just kind of a little bit boring compared to some of the others, so we'll take it out. Love the pillars here. Nice treatment. The crop is a little tight at the bottom, a little disturbing at the top as well. The crop is just a little bit too tight for me. And again, the story I don't think is as strong as some of the others, so we'll take it out. Beautiful cat. Goes so well with the, uh, the title of the image. The eyes are so strong, the whiskers are perfectly in focus. Um, we'll keep it in. I love critters like this. The, the crop is a little bit too tight for me. I don't see enough room for the, 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 uh, the creature to fly. Uh, so we'll take it out. It's an interesting image, it tells kind of an interesting story, but I'm not getting the whole story. Um, I know it's probably a, some travel photo or some tour somewhere or uh, happened upon this, this uh, young fellow taking a walk. Um, the background is, is very busy and uh, distracting. I'm really not catching what the, what the purpose is here. Um, so we'll take it out. Love the model shot, well posed. Beautifully printed again, like all the others. I like the little bit of uh, uh, antique effect. Uh, like the, the book in hand, the, ba the, the basket nearby. We'll keep it in, tells a nice story. This is nice, a nice little still life in the field, um, but maybe just a little too still. The, the, uh, the story isn't as strong as some of the others. Um, I'm just not getting the whole impact here, so we'll take it out. 
another model shot, well posed. I like the writing on the, the chalkboard in the background, the book in hand. Um, nice clever little face uh, turn here, nice hat. Um, well printed again. I like that it's a little off center. Uh, we'll keep it in. Yeah, this one bird was the only one that was printed compared to the other bird that we had earlier that I just don't think has the same quality of the print quality is there. Uh, it's, it's kind of an interesting bird. I'd like to know more about it. Again, the crop is kind of tight. The background is maybe a little bit too light in comparison to the bird's feathers. Um, the, the tone is a little odd. It has kind of a bluish uh, green tone to it. Uh, it's kind of off-putting, so we'll take it out. I like doorways and windows. I think they tell interesting stories. Uh, I like to know what's a little going on here a little bit with more, a little bit more details. I like the, uh, the, the branches, the tree branches are nice, giving a nice uh, kind of ghostly effect. But uh, again, not enough of a story here. I like to maybe see a hand there on the, on the, uh, the grates of the, the gate or the window. Um, something going on, just not enough to hold it. So we'll, we'll take it out. Again, two, more, two people enjoying their, their maybe last time at the ocean. Uh, I like that we don't have to see a sky. Um, I think the only thing that might be holding this back a little bit is the print quality. I don't, the, the whites are just not that strong. The blacks are a little bit weak. Um, maybe just from that technical aspect, I'm going to have to take it out. Love the geometric, uh, kind of almost abstract view here, looking down. Um, kind of tells an interesting story. We want to see what's going on, understand it a little bit more. We, we, our eye kind of explores it. We're trying to figure out what's going on, uh, where this might be. Um, a little disturbing looking down and not finding what you're what we're trying to look for you know there's no real subject when you go down and start looking uh, what what other than the boards um I, I just don't think it's going to hold up to some of the other images so we're going to take it out yeah i like this i like i like that just a little bit of a panic there um interesting uh treatment of the uh, water and the capture of this, uh, you know, the decisive moment of something going on. You wonder what's going on. Did, did the lady fall off the board or did she capture the board or somehow the board is not working for her the way she wants it to. So it's nice. It, it tells an interesting little story. We'll keep it in. Yeah, nice, nice, uh, nice capture. I like the wings. The wings are what really makes this spectacular. Probably building a nest somewhere. Maybe a little too centered for me. Um, and, and again, the background, just, it's just not competing enough with the, with the uh, feathers on the bird. The bird is kind of the, the, maybe not as strong with the feathers in terms of detail. So we'll, we'll, we'll take this out. I like, like the, the fact that it's a wet street scene. Makes it unique, makes it stand out, be a little bit different. Um, not much going on here, uh, other than it's a nice street scene. I think that's probably what's holding it back. We wanna see more of a subject going on or some action or activity. Beautifully printed, but uh, just not enough to hold me, so we'll take it out. Interesting. I like this as a, just some of a travel image, something captured uniquely. Uh, I like the way the, uh, the f maker framed it in kind of an interesting way with these uh, trees. You're seeing uh, architectural, uh, normally you'd want to see all the architecture, but this makes it different, M makes it unique, which makes me like it more. So we'll keep it in.
Yeah, I like the symmetry here. This is nice. Um, it's a, it's an intriguing image. I like what it what almost what it is, and they're trying to figure it out, which is which always fun to do when you're you're seeing something that's you've never seen before. You're trying to explore it and see all the details. Uh, again, I think that we've got so many other strong images, and this one just just doesn't quite make the grade. So we'll take it out. Again, a kind of a familiar scene, beautiful sky, beautiful place. Um, but I think we've probably seen something like this before, you know, whether it's Ansel Adams or someone else uh, who's been there. So uh, again, um, not strong enough. We'll take it out. I like the humor. It's nice. It's good capture. Nice little still life. Um, makes you laugh a little bit. That's good. Make, it had some impact. We'll keep it in. I like the lady here. Obviously, she's in kind of an interesting pose. Uh, the window light is obviously what's working so well. Um, but maybe that window, <laughs> I just find it so powerful. And it's kind of dominating this image so strongly. Um, I don't know how you would either crop it out or treat it differently, but I think it's disturbing that the window is, is my eyes going over to that window all the time and I should be looking at the model. Um, sorry to say, I'm gonna have to take this out. Another symmetrical image, but I think the moon makes it unique, different. Um, I like the creativity. Uh, I think the artist was trying to, to do something special, so we'll keep it in. I think there's a full moon tonight. Get your cameras. Yeah, a calm scene, nice little story. Um, maybe too calm. It's just, just not strong enough, I think, when some, compared to some of the other images. I like the fact that the, uh, the maker decided to include the subject matter or probably of what the painter is painting. So you see a little bit of the barn or the house here on, on the left, which is nice. But again, I think there's just so much other stuff in the background and maybe a tighter crop would have helped. Uh, it just, maybe just too static. Uh, not, not enough of a story here. We'll take it out. And who said you can't do a black and white of beautiful, colorful balloons? But you can. This is nice. Um, I think the thing that, it, while it, it tells an interesting story, you know, it's a, almost like a news photo, uh, kind of a press photo that you would see in the paper. Uh, the people in the foreground, uh, you know, th these balloons are so spectacular, but these people in the foreground, and my eye goes, is jumping down there. I say, what are they doing? What are they doing? Well, they're probably taking pictures, obviously, and are enjoying the scene, but uh, I think that's what's uh, disturbing uh, here. Maybe a if the, if the maker would have gotten closer and maybe didn't need all, all four uh, balloons, maybe only three might have worked a little bit stronger, be better. Um, unfortunately, we're going to take it out. Mm -hmm. Bob, how do you want to do this? Probably enough to lay it One, out two, there. three, four. We can do it in and out. Six, seven, eight, nine. It's about 13. 13, and we need to have... Uh, uh, four, four plus four three, plus seven. seven. So we do it in and out. All right. It'll be out. It's in. It's in. That is in. That is out. Nice cat, but it's going to go out. In. That's out. Keep that in for now. Um, 
out. In. In. How do we do? We in, bring, right? In. Mm -hmm. I still have one or two, uh, too many, right? We can lay them out. Yep. Seven. See, I'm good. At least I can count. Yeah. Exactly. Right. So all you need to do is place them. Oh, right. Okie dokes. And you do one, two, three, four. Right. This is one. This will be two. Right, tonight's unlimited mono, honorable mention, last splash, John Milliker. I um I had a big long lens on my Canon and uh, hadn't used it in a long time and was testing out this converter from a Sony mirrorless to that and I was really happy with it. Right. Honorable mention, Kathy Hockle, who keeps a clean house. <laughs> Kathy, is the one? Honorable mentioned, strolling the beach, Greg Hawkle. Yeah. Uh, two guys strolling down the beach in Costa Rica and hmm. got my eye and there you go. Nice use of empty space. The Moon, John Milliker, fourth place.
That was a, a drone shot of um, that roller coaster down in Ocean City. And the moon is a composite, but it is one of my photos composites. Mm. Third place, Christina, Fred Venetia. For some reason, she does pretty good. We had her and I look pretty good. <laughs> I mean, I've gotten a lot. That was taken at uh, the Naval Academy, one light, and of course, whatever was up there. You've arrived. Second place, Woodpecker Lewis Sapienza. That was taken as well. It was in the back of my house, and um, I don't know where I was. I was either in the living room or sitting out there watching for birds, and um, we just sat there for a while. And that was that was really handheld at about 800 millimeter, um, mm. so it turned out pretty well. Wow. And first place special, Ron Piper. Uh, this was a car I saw it at a uh, an old car show this summer. But uh, my dad had a 1947 Buick Special, so I'm kind of drawn to them when I see them. And I really caught up, got caught up in the uh, how the S is echoed down on the bottom as well. Mm. Both All them. right, right. Now we're moving on to color, novice. Oh, good. More to that. Make sure you've got all of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bob, if our numbers changed now for... Um, uh, we have three more novices. Um, Mike suggested right. that there are three monochrome novices that clearly are not in the contest, but if Steve could critique them for us. And, okay. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that at the end. Let's yeah. do that. Great. Okay, um, so... So we still have three, uh, still have 10. Uh, there should be 13 now. 13 now, okay, right. thank you. Which will be one honorable mention. Is that mention. enough for a contest? Is that enough for a role? Yeah, contest? yeah, because it would be one through four, one honorable. Okay, great. Right, um, novice, color, we have 13 images. There'll be one through four and one honorable mention. Proud stag. Oh. No? Well, no. maybe. My bad. Blue <laughs> and the blue bells. Oh. Um, the title doesn't match anyway. She loves me. Mr. Big. Turbulence. Mulch pile flowers. Thomas Shoal Lighthouse. Together in the rain. Oh. Yeah, the two titles have been reversed. So this is titled Bluey and Bluebells, but it's actually a moose. <laughs> <laughs> the other one was the other way around.
Chap Abbey. Pandemic Mom. Marina Fort Myer, Florida. Glass Glow. The Street. Okay, there we are. Bob, again, we need the one through four, and did you say one honorable mention? One honorable mention. Okay. So this is Bluey and the Bluebells. <laughs> this is a nice puppy shot. I think dog shots are always intriguing. Uh, the fact that the bluebells are working to make this a framed shot, which is nice. It kind of adds another dimension. You're not just seeing a dog or whatever the animal might be, but the the uh, the, the color for the bluebells are holding me as well. So that's nice. Let's keep this in. Very strong image. A very nice portrait. Love the wide angle use here. Very nice uh, capture, very well printed. Uh, those white shoes are, I don't know how anybody can keep their shoes that white. That's uh, exceptional, especially all the way up to the white hat. Um, the background's a little distracting. You know, you might be able to treat that a little differently with a maybe shallow depth of field or some kind of uh, treatment, but uh, it's not too bad, so we'll keep it in. Very dramatic shot, like the uh, kind of the post-processing or whatever is done here to make the sky look kind of a different color, making the waves blue. Um, I, I guess it just doesn't feel natural to me and kind of feels odd, kind of, kind of a discord in terms of uh, what I would see if I was there. Uh, so we'll take this out. Technically beautiful. Love the color, love the crop. Uh, sharpness is exceptional. Maybe a little bit too sharp, but it, it just works. Uh, we'll keep it in. Always love these white lighthouse shots. Um, I guess the, the, the sky is what is a little bit uncomfortable for me here. It, it kind of looks faded and it doesn't kind of go with the uh, dynamic nature of the, the building. Uh, could be your choice and, and that's fine. The maker chose that, but it just doesn't, doesn't kind of work together. Um, let's keep it in for now, but it might not make it. Love these flowers. Uh, maybe I'm seeing too many flowers now, and th these uh, just don't appeal to me. Um, the leaves are obviously have a little bit of water drops on them. I like like the uh, the sharpness, but uh, uh, the fact that just two it just doesn't seem like it's working. You know, the rule of odds. I'd like to see one more flower kind of bouncing out. There's probably one there on the left, but uh, it's it's kind of mixed up in there and the leaves in the background. Um, just kind of doesn't feel like it's balanced or well composed. Um, just too static. So let's take it out. Nice portrait of a, obviously somebody is hearing that they're being photographed or being watched. So you get the full head on shot here like this. Um, nice background treatment of the background. It's not distracting in any way. I'm seeing the, the coat on, on the critter is, is, is beautifully uh, lit. 
Uh, the, the sunlight from the right is nice. We'll keep it in. Nice architectural shot, uh, kind of a old building crumbling away, trying to capture it. Um, um, maybe it's just the, the angle here or what we're looking at is, is not holding my interest. Um, I'm more actually interested, while the building is in, intriguing in the background, I'm fascinated by what the foreground is. Are, they, are these building blocks of another structure? But they're somehow distracting me and interfering with me observing, I think, what the maker wants me to look at, which is the building in the background. So uh, we'll take this out. Kind of reminds me of uh, migrant mother a little bit. Uh, the babe in arms uh, looking to the left. Um, I, when you see people looking to the right or the left, you wonder what, what are they looking at? What's the story? And I'm not seeing the complete story and it, it's a little bit disturbing. It, it's kind of hard to absorb here and um, I'm, I'm just not feeling it. So in fact, I'm not seeing the baby's face. I want to see more. Um, it, it's not going to work. So for me, it's at least, so we'll take it out. Beautiful sky. I love the blue and the sky with the white clouds, very fluffy. Um, but it kind of looks like a postcard shot. You know, it doesn't look like, a, uh, you know, something we'd find in, in our uh, photographic art classes we, we, we're trying to do here and kind of images and competition. Well, well printed, beautiful, beautifully done, but uh, just doesn't hold up to some of the others. So we'll take it out. Love the colors here. Love how the purple and the rim of the glass is kind of echo down with on the left, on the right. Uh, it's very strong, very well printed. Uh, I like looking at it. It's just very pleasing. So we'll keep it in. Yeah, I, I like I like the composition. I like the story, but unfortunately, the, the cat is out of focus, and, and I'm. Struggling to see what what's going on here at the in the foreground here with the cat. Uh, when I see the other cat in the background, it's nice walking away in this kind of a story a little bit, kind of a travel image. Um, but I think the maker could have, could have either treated this differently or got another angle, a better picture here. Um, I like to know what's going on up in the background, up up the street. Um, and I'm not finding anything up there, so it's just not holding my interest. So we'll take it out. These the windows? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so we can spread them out. Six. So we have to eliminate one. That's two or we have to eliminate one. Oh, we could Just eliminate one. Yeah, it's fine. Do you still the right count? So three, six, seven, you two have to go. We didn't even talk about this one. Didn't we see right. that one? Uh oh, it must have been stuck to the stuck other Stuck to the other one. one. Right. Do you want to comment on it or? Uh, it, it's, it's a, I like the colors. I, I just think the crop is just too, too, too severe. And I'm not seeing what the whole story is. And this green back here is, is interfering with the overall color. So I'll take it out. Thank you. All right. One has still has to go, right? Right. That one's going to go. Okay. It's one. Mm 
Remember the names. <laughs> this one is Bluey, and this one is the moose. <laughs> this one's three. That's yeah, four. is in fact, I'll do that. Which this must be on. Which of these is honourable? This one. It's honourable. Okay. Four. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. Honourable mention. Proud stag. By Monique. <laughs> Any comments or where was it taken? It, that was back home in England, in, the, in one of the uh, deer parks. Ah, oh, okay. So it was just one early morning. And Bluey and the Bluebells? He is my dog. In England? I can't, I'll cry when I talk about him. I lost him last year. Oh. Where, you, what level is that one? Fourth. And this is on the moment. Right. Then third is Glass Globe, which is Doug Wood, which he's not here. Get them to glow purple. Nice. Wow. We also had a small light inside the bottom bowl. Ah. Very nice. Oh, sorry. No. Uh, yeah. Second is Mulch Pile Flowers, Diane Vacher. some dahlias that were growing and I had this seven foot tall mulch pile and I placed them in there because the sun was great at six o'clock in the morning. Ooh. <laughs> right. And first place, Mr. Big, Kenneth Temple. I took that photo down at the National Harbor doing some street photography, and I seen the gentleman very interesting to me. And there's a lot of symbolism in the photo too, if you take a look at it. So um, it, 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 he's a mason, 
and everything in there is Masonic, so... Um, oh, right, yes, mm -hmm. you can see the eye and the, um, the crescent moon. Right, right. Is that just a walking stick he has? Yes, that's a walking stick. Or a bobbin, you hold that up in front of the camera. Oh. <laughs> okay. Last one is unlimited color. We have 31 images. Three, four, and three ornaments. Mm -hmm. Seven in all. Right. Domino sugars. Don't look back. Indigo blue bunting. Tristan. Waiting for a toe. Balloon in ocean. No one to save. Puppies are plenty. Mother and daughter. Mating butterflies. Ready for Hunfest. Ready, aim, fire. Jared Seth has seen better days. Family dinner. Words. Paul comes to the farm. Mining bee and pollen. Pair of buds. Teton sunrise. Ceiling plaster number two. Woman in cap. Bedford Sheriff. Horses at Attendium. Grilled. Coffee grinder.
Dragonfly Landing. Indigo Bunting on Sunflower. Betty at Yosemite, snowing. Running home. Pipes. Lovebird duo. There we are. So I'll begin with the same comment that I made about the, the black, black and white unlimited, that the uh, technical quality is exceptional all the way through. They're all really strong images from that perspective. So I'm not going to make any comments. I think obviously the people that have advanced and, and uh, have that quality really don't need those kind of comments from me. I'm going to speak more again about impact and about subject matter and choice and and there may be things that are distracting, and if I'm not seeing something that's unique or special, uh, something that I would want to see on my wall or in a book if I was buying, purchasing this image. Uh, again, this, this is the type of image that I, I probably have seen before, and I don't think there's anything special here. It's nice, it's, it's beautifully done, but uh, uh, it doesn't hold up against some of the other images, so we'll take it out. Again, this, this is exceptional because it, it's telling a story. You're seeing some action that's being captured. Uh, the the, the uh, human and the animal is it, it being uh, uh, part of the story. Uh, it captures my attention. I want to know more about this image and, and uh, I, I want to explore it more. Uh, so it's intriguing. So we'll keep it in. What makes me want to keep this in is just exceptional quality. Uh, the, the black background, the, the, the way the, the bird is being lit, uh, the, the sunflower, everything about it is spectacular. Uh, that's all I can say, so we'll keep it in. I like the mystery here. Um, it, it's kind of intriguing. Uh, the crop is tight. Um, and you normally don't see portraits done in landscape like this. Um, it's kind of a, kind of an interesting approach. Um, I, I'm, I am disturbed a little bit though because the shadow on on the uh, left side is, is so strong, and I'm not seeing any detail other than a little bit of a shadow in the ear. Uh, I might want to see a little bit more light here. So just for that one technical aspect, we're going to take this out. Love old cars in the woods like this. This one's nice. Um, it, it just, it's just not strong enough, I think. Uh, the light is, is, maybe the time of day is not working here. It, it, if it was maybe later in the day, it, it's just uh, maybe high noon, it's just not working. So we'll take it out. Yeah, I think this is going to be another one that we're going to, have to toss because of time of day. It, it's just the colors are not working here for me. Uh, they seem to be washed out in the sky. Uh, the, the the balloon it's not working. The sky or the, the 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 sea is is a little artificial. The blue, we'll take it out. It's also too centered. I like this. I think it's an interesting capture. I like the portrait orientation. Tell us a little bit of a story. We'll keep it in. 
this is funny. I like this. I like, like it's very creative. Uh, it's different. I won't keep it in because of that. Yeah, and I, I like these kind of posed, whether they're nature or zoo shots. Um, very well captured, beautifully in focus. Uh, but I think what's hurting this image is the fact that there's this uh, hot spot here in the, in the background. My eye goes up here and looking at this out of focus water. Um, that could have all been cropped off just because I want to see the critters down here. So we'll take it out. This is neat. This has some, some uh, symmetry to it. It's got a little bit of a story. Uh, the background is well treated. It's all out of focus. Uh, I'm not distracting at all. Everything is in focus here. All of the, uh, the, 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 uh, the antlers, whatever, the, all the, the, everything, the, the antenna are just perfect. So we'll keep it in. Uh, interesting lady. Um, she is in focus, but the, the interesting character shot. I've uh, probably seen a lot of these. Uh, maybe she just seems like she's too posed and, and not, being, uh, um, not being comfortable maybe in the shot. Uh, we'll take it out. Interesting story. I, I think that the, obviously somebody was working hard to get this exact moment, uh, the perfect moment when the gun, when the uh, cannon is being fired. Um, I know that that's not always easy to do. We probably have had a couple of shots in a road before you get this one just right. Um, there's a lot of tree here, <laughs> probably more tree than I need to see because I really want to focus in on the cannons and the, the, uh, the, uh, um, reenactors that are working the cannon and too much grass in the foreground. So we'll take it out. Love old ships like this. This is nice. Uh, has kind of a character feel to it. I just think that the crop here on the right is hurting this image. Um, I want to see what's going on over here. It's a little bit too close. There's, there's more of an image over here and I want to know what it is and that's what's disturbing me. So we'll take it out. Like the birds, they like the story. It, it, a lot going on here. Um, Got to keep this one in. Upside down. Bye. There we go. Nice studio shot. You know, it, it has it has uh, obviously some work that make made this uh, uh, be special. Um, beautifully printed, well focused well lit um, from, a, from a perspective of an exceptional f photograph. Uh, we're going to keep this in just from that perspective. Nice country scene. Feels like a postcard, maybe a, a calendar shot. Um, just doesn't hold up to some of the others, so we'll take it out. Love these macro shots. All that detail, exceptional. See so much, we'll have to keep it in. That's a what they call a technical tour de force. I love this. I love the creativity, the, the uh, thought process behind it. The maker was trying to do something artistic. You've got to applaud the, per the maker for this, keep it in. Boy, I want to keep this in, but I'm going to have to take it out because it just, there's not enough to hold me. I mean, I love the, the water reflection. I love that the light is hitting that very top of the peak there. And, you know, I've, I've seen these before and it's just not working for me. So we'll take it out. Interesting. Uh, interesting capture from a study of maybe an art, something or an architectural detail. Um, it's very static. It's very, you know, square 
form, the, the round form and the square frame, um, a little bit too tight maybe in, in so, some of the edges. Um, just, just not enough detail here to hold me, so we'll take it out. We can work take that long. Yeah. 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 That's it. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's just it's just not working. Okay. Sorry. Love this. Love the 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 the, the eyes, the catch light, the, the lighting is exceptional. All of the detail. Yeah. This person looks like it almost I could almost touch the the skin, the the the, the, the clothes. It's it's just so well printed. It, it's just so technically exceptional, and and it's it's intriguing. It's it's nice. It's got a nice uh, feel to it. Keep it in. This one looks in comparison to the last one because you you are putting these up against each other uh, like this in an open competition like this. This one is it's just a little bit flatter. It, it doesn't have the sparkle. It, it, there is some detail, obviously the chain on the fe and the on the vest and the, the uh, sheriff's badge, but the shadow across the face uh, is just not well treated, and uh, the background uh, is busy with the people standing around, uh, just not working. Uh, we'll take it out. Good capture, good moment, nice circus shot. Um, it, 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 it's, it's strong enough to keep it in for now. It may not hold it, but it, it's, it's nice. Yeah, you, you gotta love red. I mean, when you ever see red like this, it's just, not only is it spectacular, but the printing is, is amazing. Uh, the lighting is exceptional. The, the headlights are just perfectly in focus. Maybe a little, the crop was a little bit tight, uh, but uh, we'll, we've got to keep this one in. Yeah, I like the studio shot like this. This is fun. Uh, well composed, nice still life, has some uh, feel to it. Uh, I've been doing some studies recently about food photographers and what they're doing now. And, the big thing now with food photography is messy photos. If you've noticed, if you open up any of the magazine articles now, the food is all messed up. It, it's got you know, stuff scattered all about. Uh, this one's nicely composed, although it, there's a little bit of mess at the top, but uh, uh, it kind of falls into that genre now. We'll keep it in. Uh, good capture, kind of interesting, nice, Nice close crop here and telling a little interesting story. Just not enough here for me to be excited about it and hold, hold my attention. We'll take it out. And yeah, this bird doesn't hold up as well as that earlier one. Uh, I think that the framing of the sunflower around the bird in the background is, is just seems a little uh, forced and, and uh, maybe faked a little bit. So I don't like that and I find that distracting. So we'll take it out. Uh, this feels like a grab shot. Uh, it just doesn't feel like uh, kind of an artistic approach. So uh, um, I'm sure it was a great moment for both the maker and, and, the, and, the, and the model here, but uh, doesn't hold up. So we'll take it out. I like the action shot here. I like the arms swinging, uh, people being engaged. Um, it's very strong. Uh, the, the composition is well done. Uh, the rule of thirds are very strong here. Um, there's enough going on. That this one, the couple things that are bothering me, this, this fuzzy stuff here in the front and these people over here in the background. Uh, now, I don't know if it could be cropped in tighter, but uh, it is distracting. Uh, we'll keep it in for now, but it may not hold. Yeah, I like this. This is nice. It has, has some feel to it. Um, just feels like a, like a, you know, I was there. I took a shot of the bagpipe player. Um, 
just just not strong enough to tell a story. Uh, we'll take it out. Great birds. Love the color, the beaks, the hair, or the feathers, hair, I call it hair. Uh, nice. It, it's got, got feel to it. It's got some uh, interest to it. Um, of course, you always have to worry a little bit. Not much you can do to control these things, but these out-of-focus branches, you know, there are all kinds of ways of dealing with that and post-processing these days, but... Uh, or even a tighter crop might have helped. Um, as much as I'd like to keep this in, we'll take it out because it's just not quite as strong as some of the others. You probably need to do an in out. Right? Yeah, I think so. All right. Can you tell me how many we are have? Um, I'm guessing Just about... Give me a kind of a feel. 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, 15. You're working with one. It's up to you. you we, need, way. we need seven? Uh, yeah, seven. Yeah. seven. Yeah. Good, we can do it in and out. All right. Uh, out, in, out, in, it's not being in a pattern here. We'll keep this one in. That's going to go out. That in, keep that in, that's in, that's in, that's out, that's in, that's out, that's out. Hope we did it. I think you have uh, maybe nine, so you may have okay. to still pump out a couple. So one one has to go. Yeah, one has to go.
Right, tonight, unlimited color, honorable mention, Mike Thomas, Mining Bees and Pollen. Any comments? My first shot of the bee. Okay. I'm a busy bee. Size of an eraser. <laughs> Very nicely done. Right. Okay. <laughs> right. right. Honorable mention, Jackie Colstock. Puppies are plenty. Those are little toys that we hid during the Chinese New Year Year of the Dog around the Kung Fu School to encourage the kids for the annual ceremonial. Sweep out the old luck to love the new. And I just was fascinated with the eyes, so I brought them home, did a photo shoot through it in Photoshop and started playing around with the balance yeah. that I created. Um, Luis Sapienza, words, honorable mention. I was like my like, summer project for about a month. I think I said about the third or fourth version of that. I finally found some of the stuff. The biggest problem was knocking over the, the words. <laughs> Other than that. So that took a while. That was fun. Indigo Blue Bunting, fourth place, Kathy Harkle. Yeah. 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 Um, the Sunflower Fields at the Kesha Bay, I think it's called. Mm. Um. Very good. Right. Third place, woman, in, woman with Cup. And that is Kathy Harkle. Because she was sort of half in a barn. Pardon? She was part yeah, way into yeah. a barn. Yeah. So, yeah. so you've got daylight coming in. Yeah. yeah. I think you have a really nice image of that too, Bob, right? Mm -hmm. it'll, yeah. it'll show up later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Grilled. John Milliker. That's just one of the very many car shows in the area. Go out and visit these guys because they polish these ship cars up for everybody, including photographers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. I like the black map. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And pair of buds, Bob Weber, first place. <laughs> this was one bud taken last meeting for the flower. Um, thing that Hope Brook did for us. And basically there's one bud and a little thing and then I replicate it and twiddle around and so on and so forth. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, three monochrome images. We want to get feedback from the judge on that missed the uh, comments you. contest if we could. Right. Um, this is the first one. Do you, you want to set the box up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so hard. <laughs> this one is catching the last flight. This is. You probably oh well I'll put the other one. All through. Right. Nice. Okay. Go back. This one is stars among the leaves. Who fogged my lens? <laughs> Keep that one in there. In fact, lately, people have accusing me of doing a lot of fuzzy images lately because I do a lot of ICM, in, in, intentional camera movement shots, oh, okay. and and this kind of feels like that. But I think this is nice because it has something else going on here, which is the uh, sp specular highlights 
It's mm. an ice, it's a piece of ice. Nice. Shot to a piece of ice. Nice. Mm. 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 It's intriguing. You're, you're taking photography to another level, and you're trying to make some art out of it. So it's nice. Yeah, I think I'm I love the balance here. I love the framing, the dark. The uh, treatment is beautiful. You want to know about more about these flowers, what they are. They're, they're unique. They're different. They, they, yeah, they're exceptional. And, and the fact that you've got white whites and black blacks make this exceptionally good. I, I like this, but I don't like it. There's something about it that I, I'm unsettled about it. It, it. Is it a drone shot? No, I'm actually up in another hot air. Okay, well, close. Yeah, close. Same, same thing. Um, yeah, it, it, it's not working for me as, as a strong image. It, it, it's a nice capture, but together it's not holding. Maybe just over here would work, or something over here would work, but you've got two things going on and they're competing with each other. Okay. Interesting. Thank you. Go right ahead. Okay. I want to thank our fantastic judge. Thank you so much. I want to thank everybody who brought images in, whether you won or not. Uh, I want to make a note, and it's not really going to pertain to people here. We have 20 people that are paid novices. That is the potential for 60 digital images, 60 color images, and 60 black and white. Uh, if you are dragging your feet because of technical issues, you don't know how to, 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 uh, to print your images, don't know how to label your images, please contact any one of the officers that can help you, notably probably Ron. Ron will walk you through it. And if you're worried about critique, or, or competition or, or getting, uh, getting feedback on your images, it's never bad feedback. Heck, Christy and I sometimes put darkroom stuff in that gets thrown out first look, but hey, you get, you get some inf input to see what other people uh, think about your images, and it's always a win-win. So whatever's keeping you from submitting images, let's help you out with it. If it's something we can help out with, we want to um, we want to chat about it, send in any one of your officers an email. And with that, we're going to see you guys next week. Yes, sir. We want to remind them of the theme for next month. Yes. I'm, going to go, I'm grabbing the, the sheet from Christine real quick. Uh, next week... Thursday, October 5th is our portrait night. We're going to have plenty of people bringing in light setups. Do we have enough, enough light setups? Light setups. So far, it's you and me. No one else has confirmed. Okay, Christine and I are going to bring in... Okay, please email Christine and confirm that you are bringing a light setup. Because if we don't have to bring two or three light setups in, we don't have to. That'd be great. Uh, there's uh, plenty of great people that I think are uh, supposed to come that are going to get you your artisans and craftsmen and craftswomen uh, photos. Then after that, October 12th is the digital contest on the theme of flowers. If you did not get your wonderful flower photos when Hope Brooks was here, uh, good luck to you. Get them started now. And then uh, October 19th is a program from our own Ryan uh, for One Cape Photography. 21st, I guess it's a Saturday. That is a field trip to the Fire Museum. And then October 26th, Color and Monochrome Contest on that theme of flowers. Thank you very much, and we'll catch you guys next week. Christine, can you please end the stream? <laughs> Good night.